Hello, I'm Rob Pinkler, and um, just thought I would post something on my Facebook and also on my YouTube as we um, as we come to uh, some political decisions that need to be made in our country. One of the things that I find need of comment is how Christians are to approach. Uh, the election and how we're to approach the issues. And I'm not here uh, to talk about uh, so many specifics, but generally speaking, the one thing that I find disappointing and something that we all need to remember is that as Christians, uh, our first priority is to Jesus Christ. Our first priority is the salvation of souls. Our first priority is to seek out and save the lost because the kingdom of God is coming and this world is passing away. Uh, it's therefore disturbing, to say the least, uh, when Christians will consider embracing or supporting uh, behaviors and actions and thoughts that Jesus hates, uh, that the Bible calls sin. We are not here to endorse sin. Uh, we're not here uh, to bless people in their sin or, or, or to, to uh, quicken them to those things that will lead them into hell. Uh, as Christians, we need to take very seriously what we're voting for and what we're commending when we vote for people who will endorse those things that God calls abominable. Our job is not to quicken people on the path that leads to hell. Our place is to quicken people on the path that leads to life. And as Christians, we need to be inviting people to salvation. Inviting them to meet the Lord Jesus, who can set people free from the very things that our society is trying to bless. I myself was someone who was in bondage to great sins. But Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. When I met him and when he saved me, he literally saved me from a life of great sin. And now I have no desire uh, for those unholy things anymore. My desire is to see him glorified and to see other people meet the joy and the life and the peace that comes from having a relationship with Jesus as our great God and King and with the Father who has loved us so much that he has shed the blood of Jesus so that we might be set free from hell and enjoy the blessings of heaven and the kingdom that's coming. So, dear Christian, if you're watching this and, and you're thinking to yourself, how do I vote? I urge you to vote Bible. Vote Jesus. Vote for the salvation of souls. Do not give your vote to someone who is going to help lead people into hell. And if that means you vote for no one, vote for no one. Do not be complicit in helping people embrace what God hates. But instead, let's be witnesses to others about what God loves and invite people to meet Jesus so that they can enter into the blessings that God has for them. The time is short. As the Bible says, we're, we're closer to the day of salvation than when we first believed. Do not submit to the mindset that we have to vote for the lesser of two evils. Submit to Jesus. Let's get out there and share. Share the word of salvation. I hope that this is something that will touch your hearts. And for those who aren't Christian who are watching this and maybe you're offended by what I'm saying, I'm not intended to offend anybody. But if you're somebody who's walking in sin, let's say that you're walking in homosexuality, you're walking in, in drunkenness, you're walking uh, in, in the ways of adultery or fornication or pornography, uh, you're walking in lying, cheating, swearing, whatever it is, I want you to know that the world endorsing what you're doing is not going to help you. But what can help you and can save you 
is an intimate relationship with Jesus. I know because I've met the Lord. He saved my life. I want you to be saved too. And if I'm touching your heart at all, if the word that I'm speaking, because I can't save anybody, but if the word that I'm speaking is touching you and calling you to something better and higher, then repent of your sins. Turn away from the wickedness that you've been following. And turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, and He will meet with you, and He will save you. I'm not talking about theory. I'm talking about fact. He will save your life. He's done it for millions, for 2,000 years, and He continues to do it today. We read in Jeremiah that if you seek Him with your whole heart, He will be found by you. Maybe, maybe you wanted God to release you from your sin, and you haven't been released yet. Don't despair. But come to Him. Ask Him. He says, you will receive. Seek, you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. He will deliver you out of the hand of your enemy. I myself was delivered of six demons. And he set me on the path of great joy in him. But that joy is a relationship in him. He wants a relationship with you. He does not want only a part of you. He wants all of you. So if you're going to seek his face, then present your whole body to him as a living sacrifice. Give him everything. That's what it means to seek him with your whole heart. And he will be found by you. And he will turn to you. And he will heal you. But the answer to sin is not having the world endorse it. The answer to sin is repentance, confession of sin, and being set free by the blood of Jesus and by his Holy Spirit. 